Uh, Chris Chinock here at ITSIC 2013. I'm in the Christie booth uh, where they are showing um, a 4K uh, projector. Uh, where This is actually a very impressive demonstration here. It's a, it's a rear projection, uh, 4K projector that they've been shipping for, I don't know, four or five months, I guess now, first shown at, uh, uh, at Infocom. Uh, and this is um, running pre-rendered content uh, on this big screen, and it looks very, very smooth. Uh, now, the way they get this up there is actually four uh, display port um, 1.2 uh, uh, connectors that can each deliver 10 bits uh, per, uh, per channel uh, to be able to deliver this, uh, this impressive image. Um, now, I, I asked if they wanted, if it was be, would be better to have a single connector to deliver this 4K 120 hertz uh, content. And the answer is not necessarily. While that might make the cabling simpler, it actually complicates the, the graphics display solution uh, because the graphics processor now has to work that much harder pumping out all that data over a single cable. So it actually makes more sense to parallelize uh, the, the solution uh, in the having multiple GPUs, multiple cards going out over multiple cables. Uh, so you can basically solve this problem by having uh, four connectors, uh, each running uh, full HD at 120 uh, uh, hertz, uh, or eight uh, connectors, eight GPUs that are running at 60 hertz. Uh, all that can be um, basically composited uh, inside the projector to create this, uh, this seamless image. Uh, so that's kind of an interesting take on, on, on this problem I hadn't really thought about before. That's Chris Chenock for Insight Media.